In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five tips to improve overnight in Madden 22. What's going on guys, my name is Cody and I wanna thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If this is your first time visiting my channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. We're gonna be uploading videos every single day for the course of the Madden 22 season. Now guys, in this video, we're talking about my top five ways that you can improve overnight, both on offense and defense, really how you can get better as if you if you just need this one video, this will help you get better in Madden literally overnight and give you concepts and principles that you can use to for years to come in Madden. Now the first tip that I have as far as my top five tips to improve overnight in Madden 22 is number one, consume everything that you can conceptually. What I mean by that is to literally consume everything that you can, every route, every YouTuber, every video, everything that you can possibly do, you want to consume that conceptually. What I mean by that is you don't want to just focus on the con or the, the route or the specifics from that formation or the specific con uh, play breakdown from Big Nickel versus Nickel Normal or from Bunch versus Trips. What you want to do is you want to focus on how you can actually imitate this concept conceptually. What I mean by that is <clears throat> you can take the concept and apply it and cross apply it to different formations. For example, you can co conceptually understand that a three level flood concept with a vertical, a corner and a streak is always going to work in Madden. And so you can apply that concept to many formations. Or you can understand that one of the best ways to blitz in Madden is to blitz the nickel corner. And so you can apply that concept over and over again. You can blitz from big nickel, nickel 55 will, nickel normal. So you can learn everything conceptually. And when I say to consume, what I mean by that is you want to be following as many people as you possibly can and learning as much as you possibly can. If you have money to buy ebooks, buy every ebook that you can buy. If you have if you have time to devour YouTube content and watch all of my content as well as others do that one of the best resources that I have for you guys is actually a free membership that you can sign up for all you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900 and every single week of Madden 22 we're actually going to be releasing free offenses and defenses to the community that have subscribed to the text message membership so how you sign up for that is really simple all you're going to do is you're just texting the word Madden to 208 218-6900 and I would highly recommend that. That's my first big thing about consume everything you possibly can. Learn every single thing that you can. You're gonna throw a lot of stuff at the, at the wall and you wanna throw as much at the wall as possible. The second tip that really kind of pairs nicely with that first tip is write everything down. It's really, really important. This is my biggest mistake of Madden 22 or Madden 21 is I did not write as much down as I knew. I did not write the concepts down. I didn't take notes. And because I didn't do that, it took me a lot longer to learn, relearn and relearn and relearn. I had to relearn concepts that I already knew because I did not write it down. I think that is super important Whenever you're playing Madden, have your uh, computer open, have your phone open, notes, whatever, take handwritten notes, it doesn't matter, but write stuff down so that you don't forget the concepts that you're learning as you're learning them. I think that is so incredibly important and such an underrated tip. Most people don't do that. Most people don't write stuff down. And if you're going to learn and you're going to be a, a really committed player that's going to actually improve in Madden 22, you have to start writing stuff down so that you can remember it so that then you can apply it to all of the things that you're doing. So that as you're learning, you're not just adding and subtracting, but you're adding and you're adding and you're adding and you're adding and you're never subtracting knowledge because you've written all of it down. The third tip that I have as far as how you can improve in Madden overnight is to define your play style. What I mean by that is are you a runner or are you a passer? Are you a spread or a compression guy? On defense, are you a coverage guy or a blitz guy? Do you like to run man coverage? Do you like to run zone coverage? Do you like to run? Um, do you like to run really aggressive defense, or do you like to run more passive defense? Those are all concepts that you have to kind of grip with and, and wrestle with and kind of think through because once you've defined your play style, that's going to then show you what the best scheme or the best playbook or the best team is for your play style. For example, if you are a run-based player, the Packers are probably not the best team for you. In fact, the best team is probably um, someone like the 49ers or um, the, uh, the Cowboys or, or something like that. There's better teams for running. 
If you're a pass first player, though, the Bucks and the Packers are probably going to be the best play or best teams for you this coming season. So you have to define your play style. On defense, are you a guy that likes to blitz a lot? If you like to blitz a lot, then maybe you need a different a different style of defense. But if you like to rely on block sheds, the Buccaneers are a really good team because they have really good uh, pass rushers. So that's what I'm talking about when we say define your play style. And along next to that tip is understand what a win and a loss is. Um, on offense, I like to say that we want to be very efficient in the red zone. We want to make sure that we're always scoring touchdowns over field goals. And on defense, what I like to say is we're okay if you gain a couple yards. We just want to make sure that you're not going to score a touchdown. We want to try to hold you to field goals on every drive. So defining your play style and then closely next to that is defining what a win actually is on both sides of the ball. The third tip that I have for you is to test everything. Test every coverage in the game. Test every hot route in the game. Test every adjustment against everything that you possibly can. Spend time in practice mode testing everything. If you're not going to test everything and you just want to test a couple key things that are going to be really helpful, test every defensive coverage. Understand what those, uh, when, when you're practicing your offense, test your plays against every single coverage in the game. When you're practicing your defense, test your defense against all of the different types of meta offenses like bunch or trips or U trips or tight, that is really important. So test everything, specifically test every coverage, learn what the coverages do. And we actually have a guide for you that can help you do that. If you've not got the defensive encyclopedia that actually explains that in depth, you can get that down in the description, but test everything. The fourth tip is 80-20 analysis. So the first couple of tips have to told you to basically throw as much at the wall as possible. But now what we're going to do is once we've thrown all that stuff at the wall, now it's time for us to see what sticks. 80-20 analysis means 80% of the positive results are going to come from 20% of the inputs. 80% of the outputs come from 20% of the inputs. What that basically means is simplify, whittle it down to what are the 20% what are the 20% of plays that you're going to call that are going to produce 80% of your results? And then you want to master those plays. For example, in Madden 20, uh, in Madden 21, the 80-20 analysis, the number one defense was man coverage, match coverage, and cover three Mabel. If you ran those three coverages, you were in a pretty good shape on defense. On offense, it was a corner route, street corner flood concept. It was a maybe a mesh concept or maybe like a tight end delay fade or a crossing route. What are the what are the things that are super overpowered or super effective that you can apply? And you can apply this to any formation. It's not just run bunch. It's not just run trips. You can apply this to anything um, within this game. You can take the eighty the 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 top twenty percent of routes and you can apply them to your offense. For example, uh, skinny posts are really good against man. Delay fades are really good. Um, Little table routes to the back are really good. Motion slants are a really good concept. So take the top 20% of everything that you've been learning and say these are the things that work really, really well together, and that's how you're going to basically form your offense and your defensive scheme. And then the last tip that I have for you um, is to be patient. Be patient, but be hungry. And what I mean by that is you want, do not, do not make this mistake of checking out early. I actually, in my opinion, got better in the game in the summer than I did even in the Madden season. I've become a lot better of a Madden player because I've been consistent and I've been patient and I've been grinding every single day to get better at this game. That's one of my biggest pieces of advice I want to leave you with is be patient and grind every single day. If you really want to become an elite Madden player, you have to put the work in, but you have to do that while writing stuff down, understanding the concepts, defining what your play style is, because you might not be a good passer, maybe you're a good runner. By testing everything, by analyzing what are the most effective things, 80-20 analysis, and by staying patient in all of those things and playing the best competition that you possibly can play. Thanks for watching this video. If you want to sign up to get my free Madden 22 schemes that I send out to my text message members every single week, it's completely free, to, free for you to sign up for it. All you have to do is text the word Madden to 208-218-6900. Thanks for watching this video, and I'm pumped to spend Madden 22 with you guys.